Hello, my beautiful, lovely people. Happy Thursday. God is great and he's greatly to be praised. So, um, today's devotion is on an example of service. And um, the scripture is coming from John 13 and 15. And it says, I give you an example that you also should do as I did to you. And it reads, Peter was a natural leader and he had an established an established view of what the role required. However, the event of Christ last in Christ last week on earth changed Peter's perspective concerning earthly authorities. Certainly watching the Savior wrap a towel around his waist and and his waist and wash the disciples' feet had to be shocking and impactful. In fact, when Christ approached Peter with the basin of water, the disciples recalled. But Jesus was firm, saying, If I do not wash you, you have no parts with me. John 13 and 8. Jesus was teaching how humility, how humility like he humbled himself. He humbled himself and he's here, he is, he's a savior, but he humbled himself and, you know, like, I'm going to wash your feet as well. Not only are you my disciples, you're going to wash my feet, but me, your master, your savior, I'm going to wash your feet to let you know, like, you know, um, there's no, you know, no, no greater, you know, he humbled himself like no greater person. Like, you know, I'm just like you. So he humbled himself and he washed his uh, disciples' feet as well. Because he said, if I don't, then, you know, you have no parts for me. Jesus was teaching how humility would be accepted by God and what serving the Lord would mean. We now know that he first cleanses, he first cleanses, save us so that we may know him. But second, he demonstrates how to represent him to others through ministry. It takes humility to allow God to work through you in his way and power in order to serve others. But as Jesus said to the disciples, if anyone wants to, if anyone wants to be first, he shall be last of all and and servant of all. Mark 9 35. The only way you will develop a servant spirit is to put God first, others second, and yourself last. God first, others second, and yourself last. Do as he modeled and serve in the manner he commanded. And then there's a prayer to go with this, and it says, Jesus, teach me to serve others as you as you would. Amen. And um, as I was reading this lesson, it just brought back to my mind on um, last night um, Bible study. My pastor has been teaching on serving, being a servant of Christ, you know, serving in God's kingdom. And how he was saying, like, you know, you, you know, us. Uh, serving in God's kingdom and if you don't know what your gift is or um you don't know what your gift is you know pray and ask God you know where do you fit in his kingdom you know what department you belong on what you know what is your calling you know and he was saying like you don't once you get once you get saved you don't just come you come to church you hear the word and you grow but you don't just come to just sit on benches you know you do you find you find is there something in the kingdom needs to be done and you pitch your hands you know you pitch your hands at work put your hands to work so as i was reading this and it was saying an example of service um jesus painted a, a good picture of an example you know being in being in, uh being a servant and serving by you know the disciples he showed them you know like you see me um, I'm gonna wash your feet, but I, I mean, you're gonna uh, wash each, wash each other's feet, but I'm gonna wash your feet as well. And so I, one of the disciples was like, "No, Lord, like not my, you know, wash my feet, but you know, my hands too." And so I just that it shows like that it take true. Okay, yeah, I'm back. Somebody was at the door, but like I was saying, that shows true humility true humility where he is he just humbled himself and he just you know he washed his disciples feet you know and i have seen like um one time i was in service and i had seen my associate uh my uh associate pastor 
I seen him, like, you know how the pastors, they would sit up there on the pulpit. So one time I saw my associate's pastor. He was sitting, like, in a, um, he was sitting in the pews, you know, like, with the rest of us. And then just, you know, and someone came and got him and tried to escort him to his seat. And he was like, no, like, I'm going to sit here. And that just showed true humility. Like, you know, like, just because I'm a social pastor, that don't mean that I can't sit with you all. That don't mean that I always have to sit up there on the pool, the pool pit. So when I saw that, I was like, wow. Like, I was like, he, like they said in the scripture, he took the lowest seat. Like, you know what? No, I'm going to sit right here. I'm not going to sit up high. I want to sit down low. I want to sit up here with the rest of the uh, people. So, but, um. That just shows a true example of service, a true example of service. So, um, and then also I did a video a while back on save to serve. And that video mainly, um, was talking about, um, it was coming from, um, my, uh, a class I was in that I'm doing Bible studies on new beginners. So when I was in a new beginners class, that was a lesson on save to serve. And I believe it's in all the way in the beginning, like when I first started doing YouTube. And it's saved to serve. And it talks about when you first get saved and as you grow, um, you start serving in God's kingdom. Okay, you all, I'm going to get ready to close this video out. But um, like I was saying, um, it talks about, you know, it teaches you, you know, serving in God's kingdom, you know, different department, you know. But um, I pray that you all um, enjoy this message on an example of service. Um, until next time, it's your girl, Melissa. God bless.